So this is a Raymond RSS 40, I believe. A little walkie stacker with a 10 foot lift height. And I bought it on eBay a couple of years ago. I never maintained the batteries. I didn't know to. It was my first electric forklift. So I wanted to make a quick video to show you how to do that so you don't make the same mistake I did. So this actually got stuck outside for a couple of days until I could figure out how to take care of it. The Raymond tech told me that this battery had to be replaced. There was no way to revive it. So uh, I got busy researching and figured out how to do it myself. So you're going to remove these caps here. And yours may look different. Be careful, wear safety glasses and gloves. All the stuff I'm probably not doing right now. Because battery acid could splash out on you. So when you get those opened up, they should... be full of water and now mine have some white crystals in there and I believe that's um, from not having water in them so they're these batteries are not a hundred percent and they never will be but for the little amount I use this for it it works great and I can still run it for a couple hours now without having to recharge you're gonna take some distilled water and just top these off don't overfill it or it'll spew out whenever it's charging you're just going to go into every single cell and top them all up and then you want to just let them charge up but do it while you're nearby because uh, it'll probably start sizzling and stuff and i've heard that it's better to kind of uh, intermittently charge it so charge it a little bit, then run it for a couple of minutes, then charge it some more, and it kind of breaks this crystallized stuff up that's in here. But I, I was able to fully revive this forklift and save myself two to three thousand dollars for new batteries. So I hope this video helps. If it does, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.